How's it going YouTube? Hi Drax here and in today's video we're going to be doing a tier list based around the 3rd anniversary units and all of them for, for that matter. Um, we will be looking at the EX units, um, we will be discussing a little bit about the units, uh, what I think about them personally, how I've used them, uh, how I've faced against them in PvP and what I think you should focus on uh, regarding these units uh, specifically. For the first unit, we will be looking at um, we will be looking at the uh, Rose, the EX Rose. He is a yellow God Key, Future, all that good stuff, and he's pretty decent. Um, in my experience, I mean nobody's run this guy. I mean I've tested him out in PvP. I didn't make a video about him because he's like one star, but I have tested him out, and he is pretty good. I mean all the Rose units are God Key. Um, they have they put on Future. They have a good uh, back-end support system that's giving them a very very large boost um, similar to how the blue e EX uh, Goku Black is this guy is also pretty decent he's not stellar he's not the best but he's basically mid-tier um, other units like the yellow Broly definitely way better but as a release um, for an anniversary unit he's pretty good okay let's go to the second one the second one is this new android um, super 17 i've fought him against one person in pvp who was really excited about him he was like five stars or six stars and he ran him alongside the other android 17 and alongside android 18 i mean on androids if you don't bring android 18 why even run the team but this guy actually put in a lot of work he became such a nuisance to me that i actually almost couldn't like win the match him alongside the other android uh, 17 definitely a very formidable combo um, I will be giving him a a ranking purely because of how he fits on androids and okay not so much GT but mostly androids his team is very very stacked um, you can easily slot him in on the team and he's gonna perform really really well assuming you have him a little bit um, a little bit start up like maybe four or five stars he is pretty good I mean for EX units um, he gives me the same vibes as the EX base Gogeta that released um, during the second year anniversary that's still good up to this day among one of the best EX units to ever release in Legends okay let's go to okay let's do baby first baby is absolutely horrendous I mean his kit was it looked really good to me honestly I felt like out of all of these he should have been the one to be or to resemble the EX Gogeta from last year I, unfortunately he doesn't he's basically a rising rush fodder similar to how PyCon released last year I don't see anybody using him other than for Z ability and even then it's like there are other options that are way better to run so I just don't like him I mean his art looks dope it looks really good it's very fighter uh, Z-esque but um, definitely definitely don't like him in any aspect after playing with him in an extensive for an extensive period Gotenks Gotenks is actually very very good I tested him out the other day I was just like okay let me just use this guy see how it is it was pretty early in the season uh, the previous season not this current season and I was running him he was pretty good he was he was actually one star and he actually managed to come back from a 2-1 uh, uh, situation I was actually pleasantly surprised because usually the Gotenks uh, units that have released in this game have not been the best uh, yellow Gotenks is by far the best one the SJ3 one um, he kind of matched up to that situation like when you f when from when he first released but he's the EX unit you just got the green Gogeta the SJ4 then this Kefla and then the Super Gogeta from Movie Sagas so he's not gonna have a place on the team even as a bench unit but for a niche team like say you wanted to run um, Super Saiyan 3s or if you wanted to run a, a full Gotenks team this guy would actually work pretty well he's a solid unit but not anything super stellar like like the EX Gogeta. If I had to place e EX Gogeta, he'd be in S tier right now. Okay, let's go into the main attraction right now, the sparking units. Let's go with Nova. 
Nova is a S tier unit in my opinion. His disruption abilities have been really annoying. Um, I fought multiple Novas, um, all of which were not very high stars. I'm going to say 6 is not very high because considering he's a normal base unit, there are people who got 9, 10, 11, 12 stars on these units searching for that one Gogeta. He, his green card is a very difficult green card to land, but if you're skilled enough, you got the good FPS going for you. You got all this uh, in your favor, and he's gonna absolutely destroy you if you get that green card off, because it, that green card immobilizes you and basically makes you a rising rush target. I've used it in his showcase himself against Demon King Piccolo, against uh, LF Broly, and both times I end up winning the match because I end up killing their main uh, damage dealer. His main asset, in my opinion, is his card lock. He has the similar ability to the transforming T.O.P. Gohan, where if you swap into, okay, let's see, his, let's say he's on the field. If a unit swaps into the play from the opponent's side, all their strike cards are locked. Unless the opponent is running a very blast-based team, that basically opens up that whole play for you to tackle and basically hopefully get a combo going. This is a similar um, ability to Zenkai Fatbu, where he locks strike cards when he comes in for a certain amount of counts. This ability is extremely, extremely strong, especially considering that a lot of people like to run um, more um, melee based teams. Uh, just because it's a lower cost than blast based in some situations, and it's in my opinion, a much better team to run, honestly. Um, apart from that, his lock, or oh, not a lock, his ability to remove uh, Vanish, absolutely stellar ability. Um, the first unit I think that did that was PyCon with his green card, where he stole Vanish, and then it was the EX Vegeta. And his ability, main ability to steal Vanish, is extremely potent, especially when you are down to the death um, in a 1v1 situation and let's say you have your rush, stealing the opponent's vanish and rushing is exactly what you use this guy for in a certain sense of his main ability because what people tend to do is they use his main ability and then they swap into Nova and they lock you in and then they rush you. Let's say you're in a 1v1 and the only way your opponent's going to get out of that 1v1, uh, especially if you have a rush, is if they have a blue card and only if they time it right. So definitely an S tier unit for me. Nova. Let's move on to Nova. Um, Nova is not as good uh, in my opinion, purely based because he also has a counter green card that works on, okay it works on blasts and strikes, but similar to how the um, Bojack barrier is. Um, you your only way to actually combo off of this is if they come in for a melee attack or a close range attack and I don't really like that honestly because the timing has to be perfect and a lot of people these days are more skilled or skilled enough to get out of it relatively easily. Um, his ability to lock you in for a certain number of counts is very strong. I dislike the fact that he himself gets locked in. I mean, his ability would have been very strong otherwise if you could switch out because you then you just lock your opponent in, you swap in type advantage and you kill them. But regardless, he does he does very good damage. The only reason I'm putting him below ice is purely because of his green green card and his lock ability locking him as well because it's a double-edged sword. If your opponent manages to switch out at the optimum optimal moment and get a type advantage unit in and you don't have a rush available to you or if you yourself um, mess up and get comboed yourself he's probably going to die in certain situations not all the time but that's why I'm having him at 8 tier. okay let's move on to one of the LF units one of the premier LF units probably the most hype unit to release this year so far at least um, a unit a lot of people have been waiting for for a very long time, um, SSJ4 Gogeta. I am going to put him at a double S tier purely because of his utility. He is a defense unit, yes, but he has blast armor. He has, he has blast armor and everything except for his blue card, which he draws two off because that's crazy. Um, 
he has blast down armor on everything. What I found is a lot of the players don't take advantage of this enough. Uh, I've seen a lot of people move up to mid range and I would blast and they would dodge. Uh, I don't know whether that's a timing issue or if they're scared, but a lot of people don't really realize he has blast armor. That might not be you, that might not be the super high ranked players in top 3k, top 2k, all that high level play. But in my um, realm of um, ranking, which is normally around 6 to 10k, a little bit above around 4k, so about maybe 3 to 10k is about where I'm at. So I haven't really seen people really utilize the blast armor. Um, his green card, uh, re removing buffs and destroying all your cards is really annoying. I really, really hate that about him. And the fact that he combos, I'm pretty sure he gets key off of that. Um, his his main ability, giving him type nullification, like similar to SJ3 Goku, means his ult is probably going to kill you, even if you're a purple unit. Um, because, like I said, he gets a lot of key, he gets a lot of damage, he's type neutral. And the thing is, even though he's a defensive unit, he's a very good all-around unit. Um, his biggest asset, though, is that 80% damage reduction for the first hit. Uh, I mean, I mean that's okay. Um, there are a lot of ways to damage this and remove it completely, like vanishing and then tap attacking the unit. Um, that that counts as the 80%. So that's his only flaw, in my opinion. He's extremely, extremely good, and I've actually lost multiple times against him himself. Um, in 2v1 situations or even sometimes 3v1 situations where the opponent still has his rush definitely a double s unit he does not fit into z because of the three units that it currently are z tier which is sj3 goku lf gohan and android 18 all of them have zenkais they are far more oppressive than this unit and they are far better in every single aspect case in point android 18 will turn this guy into mincemeat and mulch in one combo unless he has 80% damage reduction but people don't let him sit, sit up for that long um, I'm also basing this off uh, in terms of stars um, everybody here is about six stars and then these guys the LFs are three stars because a lot of people I'm assuming do not have them um, six stars seven stars I'm assuming people have one copy maybe two copies maybe three copies if they're lucky um, but uh, I'm assuming a lot of people don't have them um, six and above. Okay, let's go with Kefla. Kefla is no, she's A tier. Kefla fits on a lot of teams. Um, her main teams is going to be Rival Universe and females. She has I don't think she has a place on um, fusions. I mean, she could if you don't have the Zenkai uh, Super Gogeta. But I'm pretty sure everybody who actually runs Saiyans, Super Saiyans, um, even Fusions, they probably have him Zenkai already. Um, so she's not going to overshadow how good he is because he was one of the last great Zenkais, um, like in terms of how OP he was. Um, she provides a, a lot of utility, but she's held back by her second unique being um, that when opponent dodges her attack, she gets vanished back. Um, I see this being a very big issue because a lot of the times people would just sit in the back and then perfect vanish you. So how useful is that second ability really when the opponent gets a perfect on you? She can be really good if you know how to use her. Especially in certain situations where you drop combo and you automatically get your vanish back. Um, there are a lot of other ways to utilize it such as stalling in terms of a combo and then intentionally missing an attack to get your vanish back. Um, but her that second unique really hurts her. She would have been an S tier unit um, if they changed that a bit and maybe just gave her like the uh, Zenkai um, transforming Gogeta treatment where for the first two times she just gets a vanish back. Her ability to get key back on her first three attacks and I think it's her first attack doing 60% uh, extra damage. That is a very very strong ability and being a red unit there are a lot of yellow units that are running around, especially Android 18. Um, there's the God Vegeta, the Zenkai God Vegeta. I'm not entirely sure what. Oh, um, Saiyans. Saiyans has the Angel Vegeta. There are a lot of other yellow units that are great out there, but those are the main three that I see right now. Her typing gives her a little bit of edge. Her green card heals. 
and her main ability gives her um, key and her ultimate. Her ultimate hits like a truck. I have tested um, an ultimate with her where she used one strike card and her ult on a full HP 3 star Gogeta getting Zenkai buff by Super Saiyan 3 Goku and she one shot him. So she does do a fair bit amount of damage, she can't really tank that well but her job is to just run you down. Her being on rival universe and females, female warriors or girls is a big asset for her because on at least on the girl tag. Um, she fits perfectly because they did not have a red unit available to them. Um, for Rival Universe, I've seen a lot of people run Vados, um, Topo, and the Android 18. So she can fit on there on that team perfectly because she actually buffs the team. Okay, let's go with this um, Vegito. Vegito, Vegito, Vegito. Where do I want to put you? I think I'm going to put you here, S tier. Uh, Vegito is very good. His ability to draw a card when he comes in, extremely good. Um, it's unfortunate that he does not get key when he comes in because there's been a lot of times where I wish I would ha have had key when he comes in. So that's definitely a plus. But other than that, he does everything well. It's a bit perplexing to know that his green card um, has blast armor. It it's basically a throw where it sends the opponent back to long range but it doesn't combo into anything which is a bit unusual to me um the the fact that you're only locked in for five counts means absolutely nothing because the vanish of the opponent comes back so you basically have to basically get a perfect on the opponent or get them in that vanish and attack them directly immediately i found this to be very unreliable so that's why he's an s tier his main ability giving him back HP and blast armor on his alt. On top of the fact that upon activation he gets vanish back. Absolutely insane. Is his that combo itself is amazing. I've I've come back from a 1v3 just by having that. Okay, let's go with Zamasu. Um, Zamasu is gonna be three stars and he's gonna be in the same tier as Gogeta. I just want to specify that if these units were both six stars they would probably be in just like the bottom like triple s tier they wouldn't be z tier but they would be triple s tier um zamasu does everything well he does all the right things he heals on all his uh blast and strike cards his green card is one of the degenerate green cards as people call it the only issue I have with his green card is that I like Margin Vegeta's better because he gives um, a card and I found myself quite often not having cards um, after I use his green card because actually landing the green card itself can be quite difficult sometimes. Um, his blue card giving him green cards is also extremely strong and the fact that he heals on all his cards means he's gonna last a long time. Um, this kind of makes up for him not having the best defenses, but not a ton, considering how many blue Zenkai's there are, and considering how many units specifically target regen or fusions. He's not having a great time, especially when um, fighting against all those units. Like, for example, Vegito Blue released last year and would absolutely shred the Samasu if he ever got his hands on him. Then there's Namek Goku, the Super Saiyan Blue Goku from first year, there's Transforming Bardock, um, there's the free-to-play Namek Goku, the Spirit Bomb one, there's there's a multitude of blue units that want to make Zamasu die, and 90% of the time that tends to happen, um, you have to be very skilled with Zamasu to be able to use him well, and at 6 stars, this makes up a little bit of his, um, makes up for a little bit of his defensive issues, but Having a unit at 6 stars, especially in LF, is a very tall order for them to be extremely good. He's not bad at 2 stars, he's not bad at 3 stars, he's extremely good at all of these aspects, but actually pulling enough copies to get him to 6 stars and above can be quite difficult, especially on these banners. Um, I myself only ever pulled one copy and I went in 30,000. That's that's just to give you a little bit of a, of a ratio. There are other people who are a lot luckier, but that's let's just say that's like 0.1% of the player base that have him 
um, completely six stars without using multi-Z power on him. Um, his, his, okay, let's go back to him. He has a cover change. I mean, they both have cover changes, uh, but Zamasu is a permanent one, which is kind of nice. Uh, God Key needed some more cover change units, and I don't think Future really needed that much, uh, purely because uh, Future Gohan exists, and yeah, Future Gohan exists, and then they have Red Cell, so God Key definitely needed that uh, cover change. But he's a double S tier for me, and that will remain so until maybe he gets his Zenkai buff. Uh, I mean, he, until he gets Zenkai, my mistake. Um, this is going to be my tier list. This list is completely like my opinion. Uh, I've used all of these units and I've tested all of them. I've fought against every single one of these units except for the EX ones, which I've used. Um, I haven't pulled Gogeta SJ4, but I've fought against him enough times to know how he works and where he's good and where he's bad. I fought him against against him in double Zenkai buff situations. I fought him in two stars. Him and Zamasu, I fought very often, like almost every other match I fight Zamasu. But um, this is my tier list. I hope you guys I hope you guys agree with my tier list in some aspects. But um, Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know if you want to see any more tier list videos. I know this is kind of a longer video and maybe you won't really enjoy it, but like I said, uh, let me know if you want to see another tier list video. Maybe we'll cut it down to a little bit shorter and see if we can uh, continue expanding content on the channel. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Make sure to let me know if you want to see more tier lists in the comment section down below. My name is Hydrax, and I'll catch you all later.